Hi, Hi wonderful friends. friends! Welcome back to another video with Wonderful Boys. And today, we've checked into a very special hotel because this hotel has got a rich history. It used to be a Singapore post office. And you might have guessed it right, it's actually... The Fullerton Hotel, Singapore. Yep. So this hotel, right, is located um, in the Marina Bay area. So uh, you can actually see the Marina Bay and also um, because it's a CBD area, so food options is actually not a problem. And also a stone throw away from the Marina Square Shopping Centre. Shopping is also just uh, not too far away. Mm -hmm. So the nearest Amman station is actually Raffles Place, just five minutes walk away. And mostly sheltered underground. So coming here is actually not a problem as well. Yeah. So the room that we got today is actually... The Esplanade Room. And this is the largest room category that's below the suite levels. Mm -hmm. It's about 53 square meters. It's very, very large. And it has uh, two kinds of views. One would be the Marina Bay view and the other would be the Singapore River view. So the Marina Bay view is the one that we got and it actually overlooks the Marina Bay as well as the Singapore Flyer and the Marina Bay Sands in the background. So it's actually really beautiful. Whereas the other one would be facing the Singapore River. So that would be the quieter option and it also faces the pool. So if you actually like the kind of, kind of quiet kind of a state, then that might be it for you. So this room category is also located on the highest level. So you get actually the best views uh, from anywhere in the hotel. So we are going to show you the facilities hopefully later if it stops raining because it's kind of raining right now. Yep. And um, they have the swimming pool, which is not very large, and also a fitness center, which I can only accommodate uh, 10 uh, people with the safe distancing right now. So we are also going to show you the dining highlights, like the dinner tonight at the town restaurant and breakfast tomorrow. Mm. So before we proceed to the room tour of this um, very amazing hotel, which is actually uh, one of top most reviewed hotel, best reviewed hotel in Singapore. Yep. So before we do that, um, just help us like and subscribe below. Give us more support, yeah? Thank you. And uh, so without further ado, shall we check out the room? Yeah. Let's, let's go. go. Hi, welcome to the Esplanade Room. So this room category is the largest uh, non-suite room category in this Fulton Hotel. It's 53 square meters and is only located on the 8th storey, which is the highest storey of the hotel. So once you come into the room, right, there's this um, small walkway on both sides of the uh, walkway. is actually um, the closet here and the toilet over here, which we'll show you later. So let's check out the closet first. So this working wardrobe area, there's two sides of it. So over here, this is actually where you put your luggages and some space if you need. Just make sure you don't put too heavy stuff on top because it's actually uh, glass. Okay, and some uh, hanging area for you. Okay, and uh, some storage below. And if you want to put shoes, you can put below as well. And just opposite is actually where you find all your um, uh, standard wardrobe amenities like um, bathrobe, uh, ironing stuff. So some extra pillows here. Safe, uh, the safe here. And also, there are bedroom slipper, which is also have their Hotel name branded on it. Yep. And opposite it is actually where the toilet is. So before we go in, let me just show you the switch here. So there's a bathroom toilet light as well as a vanity light. And also if you want to sleep ready, you can just switch off everything. Yep. So let's check out the toilet. So this is the toilet. It's a very beautiful toilet because it's marble. And I'll show you my favorite part of the toilet marble later on. So let's first check it out, the uh, WC area. It's a separated area. So this WC actually comes with a um, bidet system. So the control panel over here. If you need the seat to be up, okay, you can just press the button and knit down. Just press again, it will go down. And if you need to wash, yeah, it's all here. In fact, they also have a dryer system. I find it a bit weird, yeah. But anyway, I like the bidet system. Um, so I feel that it actually creates a different experience. Yeah, so let's check out the uh, freestanding shower area, which is just opposite the WC area. Okay, so it comes with a freestanding shower, sorry, the uh, rain shower head, as well as the uh, hand up shower. And the amenities they use is actually this brand, Atkinson's. Yeah, I hope I pronounced it correctly. I hope it smells nice as well. The packaging tree really looks very pretty already. Just right beside the freestanding shower is this bathtub. I find it quite spacious. Oops. Oops, I'm sorry. So this is uh, a um, bathtub. 
I think it's quite spacious for one person, but if it's two person, maybe I guess not. It's a bit too squeezy, I feel. Yeah, and just right beside it, my favorite white marble. It's so pretty. I like white marble. It reminds me of um, Ritz Carlton KL. The whole toilet is just white marble. Okay, um, so only one basin, and um, uh, this magnifying mirror over here if you need to you know, do some skincare and whatsoever. Okay, and towels right below. If you need hair dryer, it's just right over here. And amenities here as well. So standard stuff like the, all the cotton pad and all that. As well as a soap bar as well. Okay, so that's about it for the toilet. Let's check out the room. So uh, before we proceed the room area, um, the entryway is also made of this um, marble floor. And stepping forward is actually the carpeted area, which is where the very spacious room is. But before I show you the room, uh, let's check out this uh, mini bar area. So this is the mini bar items here. Okay, and uh, just take note that it's all chargeable, even including the wipes and also the hand sanitizer here. Because some hotels they actually provide free because of this COVID uh, uh, thing, right? As a care pack. But over here, they actually do charge you. Okay. Um, water over here, they don't provide in plastic bottles or glass bottle, but in a carton. I guess it's in between glass bottle and plastic bottle, um, more uh, environmental friendly, slightly, I guess. Yep. And also over here is the espresso machine. If you want a capsule, it's just right over here, the first drawer. Yep. And uh, they also provide TWG tea bags. Okay, tea cups is just further into the drawer and right below is where you can find all the clear glasses as well as wine glass okay and below it's where you find the kettle as well as the ice bucket so just beside these whole drawers is the mini fridge it's stuck with many items but just take note once again these are not complimentary it's all chargeable yeah and right in front of this uh, mini bar area it's the TV. It's quite a huge TV, I say. It also comes with um, this uh, Harman Kardon uh, speaker. So control over here. So this whole area, right, has comes with this um, one chair. But if you have, you know, more people, we can actually pull over here the stool to sit over here to uh, have our meal and whatnot. Okay. So moving past the uh, area, this is um, I don't want to say this like a drawer. Okay, so over here, right, there's this um, place where you can put all your PowerPoints and all the cable to charge your stuff. So I'm actually charging my Apple Watch right now. Okay, so let's just ignore that. And if you need to output your um, laptop to your to the screen, you can actually input here. There's a HDMI uh, outlet here. Okay, and if you actually want to input the laptop, right, it's very very good, no space here to put your stuff. So you very thoughtfully. You actually have this draw out space to put your laptop. I think this is the purpose of it lah. If you, if there's other purpose, the right purpose, you know, you can share it in the comment below. Tell me what is actually the, the purpose of this thing. Okay, and some extra space here for your stuff. Okay. And uh, this uh, bedroom comes with a king size bed. Okay. It feels very big, but the I, I feel the Sheets are not very soft, but I have to see it tonight. Then uh, you know, to see whether test it out tonight to see whether it is good. The bed wise, it seems okay. Not too soft, not too hard. Yeah, and also a bench over here. So on the two side of the uh, bed, okay, there's the bed side table. So only this side I have the telephone uh, Okay, and also the switch. They have a power point here and there as well. Okay, and a USB port. Okay, the curtains are also controlled by uh, the automated control system, but only this side have the control buttons here. Okay, and the lights control. Okay, and also drawers if you need to put stuff. Okay, and uh, throughout the room, actually, you will see some drawings, uh, painting, even in the uh, wardrobe area. So these are actually very old school painting of Singapore uh, in the very olden days, which I find very nostalgic. Okay, am I revealing my age? <laughs> okay, so um, beside the bed is this um, lounge chair. It's very comfortable. You can actually just sit here and uh, drink your coffee, have some snacks, 
watch TV or even just look out the room because this is Esplanade room, right? We get a good view of the Esplanade and the MBS. So it's the whole Marina Bay area. It's very beautiful. But because now it's raining, so um, it's a little bit wet outside. And the thing is, right, so this room is actually 8 storey. So I think only those top floor will be wet outside. Those lower ones will be sheltered by our, our balcony, which you can't go out to. Yeah, so that's about it for the room tour. I think it's a quite spacious room, 53 square meter. Yeah, so um, next up we'll be showing you the facilities, maybe if the weather permits, and then also some dining options as well. That's all. Right, so welcome back, and we are at the uh, pool terrace area. We're actually on the second floor of the hotel, and basically when you come up, there's this like a information about the pool and the time, the date, and also the pool conditions. It's uh, pH 7.5, chlorine is 2.6 parts per million, and the temperature of the water is about 27 degrees Celsius, which is quite warm considered. And the pool is not exactly very big. It's uh, pretty small, you can say. Uh, it's just behind me right here. And, but one thing great about this pool is that it overlooks the Singapore River, which is actually um, very, very beautiful. So there's a narrow walkway here where you can just uh, walk. Some seats around. Luckily, it's not very crowded, maybe because it just uh, rained. So you can see it's like an infinity pool and you can just lounge and actually just have a great view of the Singapore River right here, right? So let's continue our journey. So these are the, the hotel facade on this side. If you book your rooms here in one of these suites, it'd be very nice. And as you go to the other side, there are some sun decks here. There isn't really a great view because uh, it's actually facing this side. And if you're facing the other way, it'd be nicer. But uh, there's just not much space here, right? So yeah, there's also some uh, kids live jacket here. I think that's for adults as well. And if you can't swim or not confident in the water, you can you borrow that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So we were at the fitness center just now and it's actually quite small. Um, it's uh, decently sized, it's well equipped, uh, but you need to book your slot if you wish to uh, use the, the facilities. So that's about it and we're going to see you later for dinner. Alright, good evening. So we're here at the dinner service here at the Town Restaurant in the Fullerton Hotel, Singapore. And basically the, hot the restaurant is on the first uh, floor of the hotel. And uh, we were actually here earlier today for the happy hour. Basically it's the beverages uh, at a discounted price. So it was pretty relaxing, it was an outdoor area like this. And you can overlook the Singapore River. So this is the dinner. And basically there are lots of items that you can choose from. Um, beverages, we just have uh, sparkling water. And um, for main items, there are Asian and as well as Western delights. So we got um, this uh, beef chicks right here, which is actually looks very, very good. It comes with the mashed potato on its side. Um, we also opted to have the uh, cream-based pasta. Basically, you can choose from like a seafood base. There's also a beef option, which is the bolognese. Or if you want a vegetarian option, that's also fine. And there are also lots of vegetarian selections. And one of them is this Impossible Burger right here. Um, of course, they have the normal uh, beef burger. That's quite popular, we were told. And uh, this uh, burgers comes with sides. So there are also many other different kinds of like uh, vegetarian items, as I mentioned earlier. So actually, it's a very uh, nice place to, to dine. So as you can see, we opted for the outdoor setting, which is uh, actually quite beautiful. Uh, and uh, it's a pre pretty cooling at night. So yeah, I mean, we're going to dig in and uh, probably going to see you tomorrow. So bye bye. Right, good morning. So we're now at the town restaurant once again and this time it's for breakfast. So breakfast, there are three different time slots starting from 7.30 all the way up to 10.30 in the morning. And uh, it's a one hour slot. And basically when you come down, you can actually choose to sit in the indoors or the outdoor area. We chose the outdoor obviously because it's actually quite nice here. The weather is quite cooling as well. So when you're seated, you're given first a fruit platter and a bread basket, it's automatic. And then they give you this uh, menu where you can look at it's a breakfast set. There are only actually, I would say, five breakfast sets that you can choose from, but they are free flow. And this breakfast set over here, you can see the first one is a American set, which is using a scrambled egg. You can also opt to have it sunny side up like this one instead of the scrambled egg. So the scrambled egg uh, comes together with the hash browns, supposed to be rusty, but looks like hash brown, sourdough bread, 
can see there's baked beans as well as um, bacon here. And uh, if you would like to go Asian instead, you can opt for nasi lemak, which they recommend. They say it's quite good. It comes with uh, chicken wings, shrimp, ikan bilis, as well as uh, some like a little dada, which is an omelette, and of course the rice itself. And uh, also you can have this a uh, roti prata right over here, which looks good, and it comes with a uh, curry as well. So they come in three pieces, but of course you can keep ordering as many as you would like. So you can order any item that you would like, for example like the scrambled eggs that's inside the menu, if it's just you want the a la carte item, and finish off with yogurt of uh, various uh, flavours. So um, of course there are beverages, uh, coffee and tea, uh, here is the, uh, I would say cappuccino, and this is the iced latte, you can opt for uh, skinny milk or the almond milk, up to you, and orange juice is also available. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, and uh, we're going to dig in, and we're going to summarise our entire stay later, so see you then. Okay, so we're just about to check out here from our stay at the Fullerton Hotel Singapore. So I think it's a good time for us to give a quick summary about our entire stay. So for, first of all, for those who are wondering uh, what kind of package we got, we actually bought this like a voucher from the website, um, Fullerton Hotel website, and they are still selling these kind of vouchers which are open date and cheaper if you're considering, considering to get like dining credits in which included in your room. Also such vouchers will have early check-in, late check-out, so we got 11 a.m. check-in and 6 p.m. check-out, which is great. And um, basically, we can start off with talking about the check-in experience. And yeah, we check in at 11 a.m. And so it was pretty quiet. So we were attended to immediately after. Mm. But uh, after a while, you can see that the crowd starts coming in. Yes. But it was uh, still a pleasant experience, wasn't it, for them? Yeah, because for them, um, the staff, they don't actually let them just turn around queuing. So they actually have um, tables around the whole area. So they actually uh, just sit them. So once they are done with the uh, uh, checking guests, right? They actually attend to the next one. So rather than them having them standing around, they actually sit them. So it's I uh, think it's better for them as well. Yeah, and mm. also good for safe distancing measures. Mm. Yeah, and uh, we can go and talk about our room, which is the Esplanade room, and it's actually very spacious. It is the largest uh, non-suite room in this whole property, and it's on the highest floor. So it has great views of either the Marina Bay, which is the room that we got or the other side which would face the Singapore River. Mm. Uh, one thing though is that this room does not have a balcony, so if you prefer those with a balcony, you can go for the Marina Bay View Room, which is uh, on a lower floor. A smaller room, but it actually has a balcony that overlooks the Marina Bay. Mm. So uh, what do you think about I room? think this room is really quite spacious because it's 53 square meters, and uh, the view is nice, but I would prefer um, uh, the bed to be on the other side, where you know from the bed we can actually view straight to the Marina Bay uh, Hotel. Because from our this configuration, uh, we don't get to see that. What we see is the other side, which is the Esplanade uh, side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I understand because um, every room is actually uh, flipped. So if you want that kind of room, then maybe you can switch. Uh, ask the hotel to actually switch it for you. Mm -hmm. mm, right. And the toilet-wise, I think it's very nice, um, especially the white marble uh, basin area, and also uh, not to forget to mention that uh, the heated bidet uh, seat. I love it because um, when it's cold um, and you sit on a warm seat, uh, the feeling is like, oh my god. Yeah, I yeah. love it. <laughs> okay, so uh, next up, maybe we can talk about the facility. Mm. And uh, basically, we only went to the pool. And the pool is actually uh, located on the second floor of the hotel. It's mm. actually uh, facing the Singapore River. And one thing though is that the pool isn't very large. It's an okay size, but it's not very large. It has like some sort of an infinity pool concept where it can overlook the river, which is nice. Mm. And um, there are some sun decks as well. How do you find the pool? The pool, I find it, um, it can be quite peaceful if there's not much people there. Um, it's just that um, the sun decks wise, I feel it could be, if there's enough space, then um, it could have been a better uh, place facing the other side rather than facing uh, their current configuration. Right. Mm. They also have a small gym, which uh, we didn't really go because of uh, there's not enough time. Mm. And also, they didn't let us take videos inside the gym. So but something. from what we see from outside, um, the gym equipments, right? Uh, between the equipments, they actually have this partition. So uh, this also helped to prevent uh, the spread of... Uh, it's a, uh, as a safety measure uh, management la, to Safe prevent... Management. Yeah. Safe. Yeah, yeah okay. so to prevent the spread of the, the, the disease and all that, mm. I think it's a good move. Right. Mm. And uh, moving on to the dining, basically we had dining credits uh, with $150, which is a lot to spend. Uh, by the time you watch this video, it's probably the buffet at the restaurant, town restaurant would be available. But for our case, the buffet wasn't available yet mm. and it was the a la carte menu. 
So we actually had a happy hour, uh, which is basically drinks at discounted price and some light bites um, at the restaurant, the same restaurant. And you can choose between an indoor seating or an outdoor mm. seating. So for all our dining, we chose outdoor because it's actually quite relaxing and you can do people watching as well. So mm. that's actually quite nice for us. And uh, the dinner was uh, pretty pricey, I think. Mm. If it's not for the vouchers, I don't think we would have gone for the yeah, dinner. Correct. And uh, But the food was not too bad. I the think. food was nice, actually. To me, I feel it's quite nice. Um, I just find that it's a little bit disappointing um, that I didn't get to have the super shake yeah. because um, they have run out of ingredients because when we stay, it's actually uh, the weekends. So the ingredients only come during the starting of the week and then they run out by the end of the week. The ice cream, run out of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and um, I think the service was good. Mm. I think we enjoyed the service. Um, all of them were very friendly, very helpful. And um, yeah, the whole experience was just a very pleasant one. Mm. As well, the breakfast is also a great experience. Uh, although the menu was pretty limited, I think there was only five breakfast set on the menu, but uh, it was still okay in, in the sense that the food came very, very fast and that they didn't actually chase us out even though it's like a one hour period. Mm. So they see that if the restaurant is not full, they let you sit for as long as, as you want. Mm. And that's, I think, quite, quite good, right? Yeah, so one thing to note is that because we all chose to sit outside uh, the outdoor area, right? So um, you would actually get to uh, experience, uh, maybe smell some uh, uh, cigarette smell while people are smoking nearby because it's outdoor, right? So and also one thing to note also is that in the morning uh, when we have breakfast, um, uh, the birds are actually there with you. Mm -hmm. So um, I mean not on the table, but yeah on the floor. They are moving around trying to get some crumbs and all that. So they are not afraid of humans. They even try to pack your shoes as well. So I was initially I was, hey, what's that? Oh, it's the birds. And uh, even you try to shoot them away, they might just you know, jump a few steps and they come back again. They are very brave. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was the breakfast. And uh, that's pretty much it that we mm. have for our entire stay, which was a uh, two day, one night, a bit too short, but nonetheless, still a very refreshing kind of uh, stay. Yeah. Mm. So if you do enjoy our videos, uh, or this video particularly, do uh, like uh, this video and also subscribe to our channel that's below. And also there are many more other videos Over there. on that side. Yeah. So yeah, that's all that we have for you for now. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.